Hello there, Hydrauliac here to answer today's question. How do you size an electric motor to drive a pump? Before we dive in, if there is a question you would like to see answered, leave your question in the comments and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the answer. To size a motor for a pump, there are only three basic things you need to know. You need to know your pump's displacement, the revolutions per minute your electric motor will operate at, and your system's maximum pressure. A pump's displacement is the volume of oil that a pump pushes with every rotation. This is usually measured in cubic centimeters or cubic inches. Knowing the RPMs your motor will operate at tells us how many RPMs the pump will run at. This will help us determine the flow rate the pump can generate. To find this out, multiply your operating RPMs by your pump's displacement. This will give you a volume per minute. Now let's look at an example. Let's assume we will be using a motor that will operate at 1750 RPM and a pump with a displacement of 1.3 cubic inches. We multiply these together to get a volume measured in cubic inches per minute. It's kind of hard to visualize how much that is, so let's convert it to gallons per minute. To do this, just divide by 231. This gives us 9.85 gallons per minute. The last thing we need to know is the maximum system pressure. This is determined by how much pressure the pump can generate. However, most systems will have a relief valve in place to protect from overpressurizing. So in this example, let's assume our relief valve is set to 2500 PSI. We can now use this equation to calculate the required horsepower to run the pump. Doing this math, we get 14.36 horsepower. Since motors don't come in the 14.36 horsepower size, we would round up to a 15 horsepower motor. If your pump displacement is measured in cubic centimeters, you can either convert it to cubic inches or stick to SI units. Doing the same example in SI units, we assume a pump displacement of 21.3 cc. Again, the motor RPMs will be 1750, and our system pressure will be 172 bar. We first find the volume per minute, and then we convert to liters per minute. Running this through our kilowatt equation gives us 10.69 kilowatts. And that's how you size a motor to drive a hydraulic pump. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.